Shell Point, I'm Christy Skinner, your Senior Director of Healthcare. It seems with age, although a lot of things seem to move faster, I notice the years truly just fly by. Most things in your daily life move slower. It takes longer to get moving in the morning, we move slower just getting around the house to be cautious, and our gut seems to move a whole lot slower too, making things very complicated on more than one occasion. This slowdown can lead to indigestion and constipation amongst other ailments as we age. And let's face it, we know we rely on our gut for most of our body's immunity, so we need all the help we can get to keep it running as efficiently as possible for as long as possible. So let's look at some reasons as to why your gut may be having some issues and what we can do to get it back on track. One of the first things that can really impact our guts is a sluggish metabolism, which we know we can begin to combat early on in aging. Slow metabolism also slows down the activity of the colon, which causes constipation. Focus on increasing water intake, increasing activity level, and your fiber intake, and typically, if this is your primary issue, you will see an improvement in the way you feel. Many medical diagnoses can impact our gut health. One significant diagnosis to note is diverticulitis that almost half of older adults will have, which is when small pouches form in the lining of the colon. Many adults can remain symptom-free, but these pouches can cause pain and constipation. If your pouches become inflamed, the symptoms are associated often with fever, pain, and abdominal tenderness. Less often, bleeding can occur. Other medical conditions that can impact your gut are diabetes, causing gastroparesis or the slowing down of the emptying of the stomach, and thyroid conditions that can impact the metabolism, which we know can relate to constipation and to diarrhea. Medications have a drastic impact on your gut and often require additional medications to remedy the initial side effects caused by the necessity of the medication prescribed. The side effect will range from bloating to gas, to constipation and diarrhea, and or GI bleeds. You will need to really pay attention to the severity of the side effects and the impact to your daily routine that these medications cause. If you have a severe side effect at any time, please immediately contact your physician to explore options. Being overweight and inactivity. When you have excess weight you are carrying around with you, inactivity can often go hand in hand. This leads to acid reflux, GERD, and as the abdominal fat pushes the stomach into the chest. Inactivity can be caused due to arthritis as well, and we know from many other discussions hosted by several professionals for many reasons, our body does best when moving. So does our digestive tract. More sitting, slower digestive tract. More moving, better moving gut. Less digestive issues. My husband often brags about his iron gut. There is no hot sauce too strong, no pepper too spicy, but in the past several years, that challenge for spice has been waned because he knows the spice is followed by some form of medication to suppress the heartburn destined to plague him. As we age, older adults often notice the tolerance for spicy foods or even alcohol and caffeine become more and more minimal. It is noted that there is an increased sensitivity along with heartburn and gassiness. Now what to do? Here are a few helpful tips. Stay active. There is endless research supporting that activity will keep your gut moving and healthy. Limited activity will considerably slow down and cause several issues and ailments. Hydration. Hydration really supports healthy metabolism and flushes your gut. If you do consume caffeine and or alcohol, try this tip. Consume double the quantity of water to caffeine and alcohol to help balance proper hydration. Consume a high fiber diet. This should focus on a diet rich with fruits and vegetables and try substituting browns for whites with pasta, rice, and grains. Probiotics. There is a lot of benefits to probiotics that can often be found in the foods we eat. You can also find excellent over-the-counter supplements that you can discuss with your physician. We will be exploring probiotics in more detail on another Medical Minute edition. Pay attention to medications and side effects. As always, review all concerns with your physicians. I firmly believe that anything that concerns you should be reviewed with your physician. I have heard so many times people say, well, it's probably nothing, so no need wasting my practitioner's time. Please do not feel that anything is a topic not worth discussing if you feel it is questionable or you are not certain about it. That is why our team is here for you. 
Statistically, your gut is responsible for between 70 to 80% of your immunity. So focusing on keeping your gut healthy should be a large focus for everyone. I am appreciative for the opportunity to serve you and support you in healthy living. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at Christy Skinner at shellpoint.org. Until next time, stay healthy.